Here are my top five soldering mistakes. Number one, temperature. I've overheated and underheated the solder on many occasions. This leads to many avoidable problems like corrosion happening too fast, breaking integrated circuits, and boiling off flux immediately. Keep your soldering iron at the right temperature for your solder. And remember, not all solder melts at the same temperature. Number two, soldering with crappy soldering iron. If you ask anyone that solders more than once a month, they will let you know that it is worth it to have a good soldering iron. I'm not saying go out and buy a Weller soldering iron, but make sure you're getting a temperature adjustable soldering iron at a bare minimum. Number three, hand soldering SMD components. Now this isn't a terrible idea for some components, but having an SMD soldering station can be necessary. Obviously for components like QFN, you will have to do solder reef. Number four, keep your tip clean. Soldering tips are hot, which means they oxidize faster. If you don't keep your tip clean, it will corrode. If your tip gets dirty, clean it with a brass tip cleaner or a tip reviver. Maintenance is often easier with a nicer soldering iron. Always replace your soldering iron after use. This means put your soldering iron back into a good storage receptacle after use. You lay your soldering iron on your table and just rely on friction to keep it there, it will drop on your carpet. I'm definitely not speaking from experience. One last thing, turn off your soldering iron once you're done for the night. I may or may not have left my soldering iron on overnight on a few occasions. If you have any of your own recommendations, please let me know.